Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you what I normally do on daily basis as a PhD student. Currently I'm in my fourth year, that is the final year and I study at the University of Sussex. I start my day with a word of God and prayer. Well, to be precise, I don't have any classes as such, but as a PhD student, we have seminars and conferences which I used to attend. But on other days, I study minimum 8 to 10 hours, either in the library or in my room. And yeah, I'm trying to finish up my research paper. So my research is on political space and the space in between, focusing on the Naga indigenous women. So I believe in, you know, this discipline starts from your room, so I always make sure that I arrange my bed before I do anything so today I thought why not oil my hair which I do once or twice in a week but for the sake of shooting so I thought why not do it today <laughs> so yeah after oiling my hair I brush my teeth straight away before I eat anything I drink warm water every morning because it's good for skin and the Cure Skin app that which I'm using, the terminology suggested me to at least drink 3 liters of water every single day. Now it's a skincare time and summer is here and humidity during summer can lead to bacterial infections due to sweat, clogged pores and acne breakouts. So I make sure that I give extra attention and care during summer. Since I'm going to uni today, I won't be applying so much makeup. Also I have minimized using makeup, especially I avoid using foundation because makeup during summer is oh, it's such a pain and it makes my skin look so cakey. To be honest, I don't have any problem going out without foundation because Cure Skin gave me the confidence. Ever since I started using Cure Skin products regularly without skipping, my skin is much clearer, hydrated and healthier now so that I don't need much makeup and in that way I allow more oxygen to deliver to my face and my skin have more time to repair itself and regenerate its elastin and collagen. Cure Skin products are travel friendly and it's very convenient. I always carry the sunscreen with me wherever I go so that I reapply it every two to three hours. In case if you're not aware about this Cure Skin app, then it's an app where the artificial intelligence technologies scan your face and detects your skin problems and the dermatologist will curate a skincare products for you it's reasonable as you get four to five products which is 1500 and if you use my god yandi 100 then you will get additional rupees 100 off but that is only for the first 50 customers so you need to hurry up along with the products you will also get free consultation follow with the dermatologist they provide even diet plan water intake and lifestyle so if you're interested then check the description i will leave the link for you So this is what I carry every day in my bag, that's the ID card, the university ID card and my laptop. Today I'm going to carry this Cognac bag which I really love and I'm going to carry my phone charger and a bottle of water and a book which I'm reading now currently because I'm preparing for my introduction chapter and of course I cannot go out without perfume because it's a bay for me. Well, the weather looks good today because it's spring here but i somehow regret not wearing um jacket because it was so cold i completely forgot to check the temperature it was 70 degree and it was so windy and so cold 
But anyways, no regrets because I can't help much. So I didn't eat my breakfast. So I thought, why not? I will grab my breakfast first. So this is where my university starts. It's huge. We have lots of cafeteria, bars, and shop inside the campus. But today I thought I will just go straight to the student union shop and grab cappuccino and croissant. So yeah, I ended up choosing a plain croissant. The good thing about our university is we have lots of sitting spaces on campus so I thought why not just sit outside and drink the cappuccino and eat a croissant and maybe later I will go inside the library because I don't want to carry food inside and yeah I was reading a book which I am preparing for my introduction chapter so I thought I would just read the book and eat but it was so windy that it was very difficult for me to focus So this text stop, it helps us to search where the book is. For, for example, if you're looking for a book, then it will show you where it is, which floor and in which shelf. So it is very easy for us to locate. So since I search it from home um, through my laptop, so I, I already know what I was looking for and where it is. So I went straight to the shelf and finally I got the book that I was looking for and yeah and also i thought i will just look around some related books that i was looking for yeah it might look weird but yeah I spent time sitting there and then skimmed the table of contents and everything so that I don't need to go back and forth and you know search for the same book again so that's what I normally do and yeah finally I moved on to the second floor and I was checking for a space where I can sit and write and also read it's a huge library and people normally come early and they occupy good spaces and also I met my very old friend Shalini yeah, she's my bitch met and even she's in her final year. So yeah, that's how I met her and I finally found a space where I want to see them right. So I tried to settle down. Actually, the university the department, they used to give us office for PhD student to sit and read. But I never asked for one because I am not so regular in library or in on campus. So I love spending time at home studying in my own room so I thought today before I do anything I'll just fill up this doctoral researcher progression report which we have to do every year um, just to update on what we are doing what we have done so far and accordingly if only they accept it and we can promote it to the next class and this is for the final year so yeah that's what I do and I spend some time reading and writing my chapter and I thought that I need to go back home because it was already around 4 p.m. so I checked out two books and I headed straight to the department store on campus it's a small retail shop so I thought I would just go there the campus is really beautiful we have lots of tulips and yeah I thought I'll buy some coriander and spinach or some salad leaves for you know my lunch and I was not in a mood to eat rice 
so I thought I would just buy noodles and also meantime I bought my shampoo and conditioner because I didn't want to go to the shop again to buy just shampoo and conditioner so I bought it from here and after I paid for everything I headed back to the bus stop because I need to wait for the bus it was sunny but it was also very windy and I just love the weather at the moment like it's beautiful so yeah finally i'm walking to the bus stop and i waited for the bus for almost 10 minutes and finally i reached my home this is my neighbor's flower it's really beautiful so we don't have one at home unfortunately because to be honest no one have time to do all that well finally i reached to my room and i'm totally so exhausted but what i did was i took the facial wipes and then i just cleaned up my uh, makeup because i can't just let it stay for so long and i thought i will start cooking noodles so i'm gonna cook just plain noodles with some leaves and the salad about it's already washed and ready to eat so yeah i don't need to wash it again but normally on other days i do wash again if i'm if i find it very skeptical but yeah on, on the lazy days i don't normally wash them because it's already washed and ready to eat so yeah so this is the simple noodles that i'm making right now so and also with the noodles i thought i will drink coffee iced coffee actually i'm not a person who loves coffee or anything but yeah these days i'm craving for it so so i thought i will make my own iced tea i mean coffee iced tea and this is my noodles it doesn't look so yummy but it was yummy and yeah i always buy ice cubes so that i can drink either juice or anything like soda or coffee iced tea so this is my iced tea homemade iced tea and it's really really good yeah i swear by it so yeah i thought i'll first have my lunch because it's already 4 p.m and i thought i will just transplant my my raja chili plants after my lunch so that i can take some break from my studies so i started transplanting all these chili plants and i have some coriander even here so i watered them and since it was already evening and i'm just so excited about this naga raja chili plants and yeah it was already time for dinner so i spent time cooking baking all this fish and making salad cooking rice so i had my dinner it was around 8 30 pm so i just had my dinner and i took shower and everything and i got back to my studies it was around 9 30 when i started studying but you know i have this pain because of typing too much <laughs> because i spent eight nine hours using you know my especially my right hand for typing so i'm not good in my left left hand so yeah so i usually type with my mostly with my right fingers so yeah so this is how i arrange my desktop i make sure that everything is in the folder like my transcript and my methodology chapters or my empirical chapters feedbacks from my supervisors or whatever new researchers like researches that people have done i download it and you know i keep them so i will get some idea from you know what they are doing especially in order to add as an existing literature it's already you know 8 a.m in the morning so i thought i'll just sleep i don't know what i'm, I'm gonna wake up so yeah i studied around at 8 to 12 hours today so i thought i'll just sleep so that's all that's all for today thank you so much for watching i hope you had enjoyed watching my video and i will definitely see you all in my next video bye